Hello, I'm this is Ms. Lambert, and I'm going to walk you through how to make your uh, AP Physics Mousetrap Car website. So you will notice this is what the example looks like. So I'm going to walk you through how to make it look just like this if you're interested. Um, you don't obviously have to make it look identical, but I will show you how uh, how to get all the setup that um, Ms. Sheevy and Mr. Eaton would prefer. So once in your Google Drive, you can just click New, and then you're going to go More, and then you'll go right here to Google Sites. Um, so I'm going to click Create and Share. So just give it a minute. And you'll notice up here you have your untitled site. I have a feeling that your teachers are probably going to want you to name it something like your name. Um, so I'm just going to call this Miss Lambert's Mousetrap Project. Um, now you'll notice that the uh, title is going to be right here. Um, and they may just want you to have your name and not Mousetrap Project, um, but that's going to go there. Uh, and so now you've got, you start out with just one page, your home page. And I would come here to home and click on properties and change this from home to phase one. And so then you've got your, your first um, page will be called phase one. You can either just make this phase one, put your own image up here, whatever your teachers want you to do. I'm going to show you how to make it like the example. So you're going to click on that and I'm going to take that out. And then I am going to come over here to themes. Actually, first I'm going to do change image right here. And I'm going to choose upload. Oops, not upload, sorry. Change image, select image. And then um, you can go to that folder in Google Drive. You'll have to like add a shortcut to that folder. The folder exists for me. So I'm going to go directly to the folder. Um, but you can make a shortcut to it and then click on that shortcut. And let's see, square. And then I'm going to click on science. And the folder is called Google Site Resources. So you're going to click on that. And then that banner image is in there if you want to use it. Um, I will turn off readability. Uh, I think it automatically kicks on anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Um, and then if you're really super particular, you can choose uh, the color up here. And if you want um, the uh, the actual Reedy color, the brand guy, oops, Reedy is over here, not over here. Um, brand guide for ISD. And I can scroll down to Reedy and I can grab uh, the hex code for the blue or the green, whichever I want. And then I'm going to come back over here to themes and I'm going to see that little paint bucket. I'm just going to throw that hex code in there. And so now my colors will be um, the, the reedy green color that I just added. And then you can change the font style, whatever. That, those are your options there. But now we're going to talk about how do we set it up so that it looks like this. So this right here. Um, is a layout that you can choose and so I'm just going to show you how to add a layout So you're going to go insert and then I'm going to add this two images with some text layout right here Oh, and you can also add a text box uh, Right here and in that text box. I'm just going to choose title and I'm going to center it and I'm going to call it phase one and I want this bolded and then over here is where the um, you can click on the plus sign and add stuff from your Google Drive to this now I have um, so you'll probably add the overview of the project to your own Google Drive um, I'm going to look at what Mr. Eaton shared with me but you may um, have that in your Google Drive. And so here's the little button right there. And I'm just going to change, change this to 
project overview. And then over here, this one is the photo of materials, which you will create a photo and you will put that in here. Um, so you're going to have to gather your materials, take your photo, put that in there. Now you'll notice um, there's these extra boxes. If there's nothing you need to write in there about the these things, then you can just delete those out um, or you can leave them. It really is doesn't, doesn't matter either way. So now I want to drawing of my sketch um, sketch mousetrap car so I'm going to click on this and I'm going to choose my phase one drawing and I'm going to here and uh, I'm I can take this and I can move it over to the center like that and then I'm also going to add another text box here and I'm just going to move it up and I'm going to call this I'm going to call this phase one sketch. Okay, and so that's how I created uh, my phase one page. Now, I find the easiest thing to do when you're doing this is not go and create another page from scratch, but get one page set up the way you want and then duplicate that page. So I'm going to call this phase two. Done. And you'll notice it creates an exact copy of the first page as my second page. And they're listed up here, so I can see um, phase one, phase two up here. Um, and so now I can go through and make the changes according to the template site uh, that is phase two. So I can click here, and you'll see that it's another one of those uh, side-by-sides. Okay, so let me show you this part. So I would change this to detailed sketch with dimensions video, which you're going to have to create those. Um, so I'm going to change this to detailed sketch with dimensions. And then um, I would just replace this image with, um, with my Google Drawing. The other thing you can do is just delete this out entirely and add a new one of these if it gets too like you can't figure out how to change stuff etc cetera, etc cetera. you can just delete this out and add another one um so over here it says a uh, final materials list so i'm going to change this to final oops oops final materials list and I, I would just want this to be left centered over my list. And then I'm going to take out this piece right here. And I'm just going to add another text box. And I'm going to make a list right here. And so I'm going to say, you know, item one, item two. And I'm going to describe my um, things like my teachers have asked me to do. Um, the other thing I did on these was just aesthetically, if you're interested, um, I added an image up at the bottom, uh, and so again, I'm going to come to my Google Drive, and I'm going to add an image from my Google Drive. So, oops, Google Drive, there we go. Uh, and I'm going to go recent, because the image that I want should be in my recents. There it is, so I'm going to pick that image, but you'll, you'll have to obviously go to that folder. Uh, the, this image is in that folder. And so, um, now I have, uh, oops, possibly. So there's that image right there. So I'm just going to drag it over here and um, to the center. And so now I've got that image added. Um, another thing that you can do is in the settings right here where it says um, brand images. If you want to, you can upload either of, uh, Oops, you can select from that folder in Google Drive. You could select um, the lion, or I think I also put the R in here. Uh, let's just go to my drive. And let's go to maybe. Actually, you know what? I don't think I did put the R in there. Um, but if you wanted to, I'll just show you how to do it with that other image. Science. Google Sites. If you wanted to put this in, insert it. 
uh, and then that can be your little logo image up there. And then you can also uh, choose a color for your theme. So I'm going to choose that blue. Uh, and then I can also click uh, upload for a favicon. And I can select. <laughs> I'm still used to doing upload from my computer. Select. Um, and so then I'm going to select that image for my favicon. And then once you're done there, you'll see your, your things there and you can just uh, close that. And then whenever I click publish, this is how I'm gonna publish my site. So um, whoever has access to the site can edit it. Um, so the only people that have access to the site is me. I don't think your teachers want access to be able to edit your site, so you don't have to share it with anybody, but you do have to click this all important publish button right here. So when I click publish, You'll notice that it's giving me a web address, Miss Lambert's Mousetrap Project. Perfect, that's perfect for me. And so I'm just gonna click Publish. And then whenever I click Publish, now you'll notice this little arrow pops up right here. So this is where you can go uh, to check and see what you've published. So I'm gonna click View Published Site. And when I click that, Now it's going to show me what my site looks like when it's all published, okay? Oh, the other thing you might do on your header type is change it to large banner. Um, and that was the, you know, when I published it, it kind of squished the banner a little bit. So by giving it a large banner, it's just not going to squish that banner. And you that my little lion favicon is up there. And then up there by my site. And then you'll see I've got my my pages and my pages and see all of my work. Um, so that is basic info about how you're going to set up this Google site and then how you're going to share it. So when you submit this site to your teacher, you will use this link right here to submit it. OK, so that's the link. Whenever you click publish, view publish site, you've got to share the view publish site because if you share a link over here with them, they won't be able to see it because this is the edit link. All right, Lions, if y'all have any trouble with this or have any questions along the way, uh, please don't hesitate to reach out to me, Lambert in at FriscoISD.org. If you're virtual, um, you can also reach out to me and we can Zoom. And if you're face-to-face, -face, um, you can ask to come to the library if you need help, or you can also just email me a request to Zoom. So uh, I'm excited to see y'all's mousetrap, mousetrap projects come to fruition. Good luck, Lions.